To install the Stage 1 audio kit in your Razer Trail or Trail S, follow these steps. Park the vehicle on a flat level surface, ensure the vehicle is in park, and remove the key. Next, pull up on the driver's rear seat lever and pivot forward to remove the seat from the vehicle. Then, disconnect the negative battery cable. Continue by turning the two quarter turn latches to unlock the hood. Then, pivot the hood forward to remove from the vehicle. If equipped, open or remove the windshield. Next, remove two push rivets from the top of the storage compartment. Then, tilt the compartment rearward and pull up to remove from the vehicle. Next, remove the four dashboard fasteners. Then, disengage the rearmost retention clips and the two front grommets. Continue by lifting the dashboard up and pivoting back through the cab to remove from the vehicle. Next, remove the push pin rivet from the lower portion of the front fender. Also, remove the fastener from the lower portion of the front fender. Then, remove the four upper fasteners on the fender and remove the fender from the vehicle. Before continuing, repeat this process for the other side. Next, if necessary, remove the grommet from the bulkhead and cut the score marks using a cutting tool. Then, place the harness into the dashboard compartment and remove the fuse box cover. Continue by carefully routing the pulse bar connector and fuse relay through the bulkhead and into the hood compartment. Use care when routing the fuse box through to avoid damaging any components. Then, reinstall the fuse relay cover. Next, gently route the pulse power connector and fuse box through the bulkhead grommet, using care not to damage the grommet. Then, reinstall the grommet as needed and ensure it is fully seated on both sides of the bulkhead. Next, move to the pulse bar and remove the desired connector cover. Then, connect the pulse power connector on the audio harness to the pulse bar. Next, locate the witness mark on the bulkhead on the left side of the hood compartment. Ensure the area behind is clear of any parts or components to prevent damage. Then, drill a hole through the bulkhead to mount the fuse box. Continue by pressing the fuse box into the previously drilled hole until it is fully seated into the bulkhead. Next, route the right-hand speaker connector along the chassis and into the passenger foot compartment. Then, move the left-hand connector under the steering bracket and into the driver foot compartment. Next, connect the amp output connector to the rear speaker connector. Then, join the USB connector to the audio harness USB connector. Next, turn the latch on the storage compartment to unlock and open. Then, push the USB input connector into the compartment. Before continuing, ensure the rubber grommet on the harness is fully seated on both sides. Then, close the compartment and turn the latch to secure. Before continuing, ensure the reference measurements on the templates are to scale. If not to scale, contact your local dealer to obtain the correct size templates. Next, cut out the inner template and secure to the foot compartment panel. 
Ensure the area behind the panel is clear of any parts or components to prevent damage from drilling. Continue by marking the drilling points on the template. Then, drill through the previously marked holes and remove the template. Next, cut out the outer template and secure to the foot compartment panel. Ensure the area behind the panel is clear of any parts or components to prevent damage from drilling. Continue by marking the drilling points on the template. Then, drill through the previously marked holes and remove the template. Next, join the speaker connector to the audio harness connector. Then, align the speaker with the drilled holes and install three fasteners and washers. Torque the fasteners to specification. Once complete, repeat this process on the other side. Next, select a location for the antenna mount. Before mounting, ensure the ground strap is able to reach the chassis mounting location and that the antenna is free to tilt properly. Then, drill a hole for the antenna mounting post. Continue by marking the bottom of the alignment pin and installing the antenna into the previously drilled hole. The mark on the bottom of the antenna will accurately mark the alignment pin drilling point. Before drilling, measure the distance between the mark and the antenna mounting hole to ensure the mounting location is correct. Once confirmed, drill the alignment pin hole. Next, press the antenna mount and alignment pin into the hood until fully seated. Then, install the ground strap and ring connector with the smaller side facing up. Continue by installing the antenna nut and tightening until fully seated. Next, locate and remove the fastener and washer from the bulkhead. Then, slide the fastener and washer through the other end of the ground strap and reinstall the fastener and washer. Tighten until fully seated. Before continuing, secure the antenna connection boot over the ring connector. Then, screw the antenna mast into the antenna mount. Next, gently route the antenna harness through the grommet in the bulkhead and towards the opening in the dashboard. Before continuing, secure the entire harnesses to the vehicle, ensuring that no moving parts are able to contact it. Next, reinstall the dashboard on top of the front dashboard panel. Then, secure the retention clips inside and engage the grommets with the front dashboard. Reinstall the fasteners and torque to specification. Next, install the head unit to the dashboard mount using the provided bracket and four fasteners. Tighten until fully seated. Do not over torque. Then, move the head unit near the dashboard and connect the previously routed audio harness connector and antenna harness connector to the back of the head unit. Continue by aligning the lower retention points and inserting the head unit assembly into the dashboard. Then, install the two pushpin rivets to secure it to the dashboard. Next, align the mounting tabs on the hood and pivot back into place. Then, turn the two quarter turn latches to secure the hood. Next, reconnect the negative battery cable and torque to specification.
Then, reinstall the seat by aligning the front tabs under the retaining bar and pressing down in the rear to engage the latch. Before continuing, turn the key to on and ensure the system is functioning properly. Next, align the front fender into the body panel and reinstall the four shorter upper fasteners. Torque the fasteners to specification. Then, reinstall the longer fastener into the lower portion of the fender. Torque the fastener to specification. Finally, reinstall the push pin rivet into the lower portion of the fender. And repeat this process on the other side. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.